Hey guys, in this video now we're moving into derivatives of inverse trig functions. So I know you're looking at these six trig function derivatives like, wow, those rules are pretty crazy. How did we get those? Well, we will derive these in class together. Ultimately, we will need to memorize them after we derive them. Um, so. For the purpose of these video notes though, we will just apply them and take these derivatives of inverse trig functions. So in number one, I have y equals sine inverse of 4x. So I want that derivative. Well, the derivative of sine inverse x is one over the square root of one minus x squared. So for this function, y prime is one over the square root of one minus four x squared. Because instead of x, I have four x. Now taking the derivative, this is a chain rule. What's the derivative of the inside? Multiplied by four. So we'll leave this unsimplified. Let's keep it moving. Number two, now we have tangent inverse of one over x taking the derivative. The derivative of tangent inverse x is one over one plus x squared. So y prime is one over one plus one over x squared. Now, don't forget, this is a chain rule. What is the derivative of one over x? Now remember, one over x is x to the negative one. So if I differentiate that using power rule, that's negative one x to the negative two. We'll leave that unsimplified. So now in number three, we have sine inverse of one over x. Well, we know that the derivative of sine inverse is one over square root one minus x squared. So y prime is one over square root one minus one over x squared. And then the derivative of one over x, we just did that here, chain rule negative one x to the negative two. So once again, unsimplified answers. We'll practice simplifying together. Let's keep it pushing through number four. So now we have a product rule, makes it a little bit more difficult, but we're doing secant inverse. So here we go. The derivative of secant inverse x is one over absolute value x, square root of x squared minus one. Remember, we will derive these in class together. So product rule, y prime, the derivative of x squared is 2x secant inverse x plus x squared multiplied by the derivative of secant inverse, one over absolute value of x square root of x squared minus one. Let's leave that simpli unsimplified to save some time. So these trig derivatives while the rules might take a little more time to understand, applying them when taking the derivative procedurally is pretty straightforward. So let's continue on with some more examples.